Testing Black Diamond's Carbonado involves multiple steps to confirm authenticity and differentiate them from other black gemstones or simulants like synthetic moissanite or black spinel. Here's how to test them. One, visual inspection, color and texture. Carbonado diamonds are polycrystalline, so they often appear rough, porous, or pitted. Luster, they have a metallic to submetallic luster, not glassy like other gemstones. Shape, usually irregular and opaque black. Two, hardness test, Mohs scale. Diamonds rank 10 on the Mohs scale. Use a corundum point, Mohs 9. If it scratches the black diamond, it's not a real diamond. Caution, this can damage the stone, best done professionally. Three, thermal conductivity test. Use a diamond tester, thermal conductivity tester. Real diamonds conduct heat extremely well. If it passes this test, it's likely a real diamond or moissanite. Carbonado diamonds can sometimes fail this test due to their porous nature. Don't rely solely on this. Four, electrical conductivity test. Carbonado diamonds conduct electricity, unlike most diamonds. A moissanite tester can help here. Moissanite and carbonado both conduct electricity. If it passes both thermal and electrical tests, possibly carbonado or moissanite. Five, specific gravity test. Carbonado has a specific gravity around 3.5, similar to standard diamonds. This can help dif differentiate from black spinel SG 3.6 or glass SG or 2.5. Six, six, microscopic innation. Look for polycrystalline structure, internal grainy texture, no visible crystal faces, unlike single crystal black diamonds. Seven, advanced testing, professional lab, Raman spectroscopy. Identifies diamonds' unique lattice vibrations. X-ray diffraction, XRD, confirms the polycrystalline nature. Infrared spectroscopy can identify diamonds' unique absorption features. Summary table test result for carbonado, telephren. Thermal conductivity, may pass, inconsistent. Electrical conductivity, pass, hardness, hard, most 10. Luster, submetallic, porosity, texture, rough, grainy, pitted, microscopy, polycrystalline, irregular, professional lab test, Raman, XRDIR. If you want definitive answer, the best route is to take the stone to a gemological lab, like GIA or IGI. Would you like help finding a nearby lab or a checklist for what to ask when taking a black diamond to a jeweler?